What's up guys, H2 Blown here, welcome to another video, it's going to be another story time video, you know, I decided to bring you guys another one because the last time I actually brought you guys one, it was back in April, so you know, that was a really long time ago. So here we go, this one's going to be about my 4th of July experience, you know, hopefully you guys all had a good and safe 4th of July, I did, but you know, there's a few experiences I wanted to share with you guys, so let's head straight into this, so um, yeah, so uh, you know, just a normal 4th of July day. You know, I just got ready to go to a party. You know, they're going to light some fireworks. We're going to have good food. And, yeah, I'm just getting ready. You know, I showered. I did everything necessary to get ready. Then, you know, we got there. And, you know, I just ate some food. You know, me being me, I just ate some food. And I ate a lot of food. And I, well, I regret it today. <laughs> I regret eating a lot of food today. And also, um... You know, we, it was just an overall good time, you know, there was a bunch of family there and stuff. And it was just a good time overall. So, um, you know, we had some fireworks. My, uh, uncle, I guess, he bought him. Bought some fireworks. And, um, yeah, we were just gonna wait till the night. Because, you know, he bought, he bought, like, tons of fireworks. Like, there were so many. So, you know, we are just gonna wait till the night, you know, to light them off so you can actually see them. And you know, first we started with the small ones because, you know, those were not going to do the most. You know, they're not going to have the most wow factor. But, you know, just to pick off, you know, what's just next in store. And also, um, you know, so yeah, after that just happened, you know, we're just getting ready for the big ones. You know, I was ready for the big ones. And, um, yeah, so I'll, you know, I was just waiting for that. And so, once, you know, once it was actually dark, you know, we lit off the small fireworks, and we used the big ones. Alright, so, I've been going to his house for, like, 4th of July for, I think, two to three years now. And what, what happened this time has never happened before. <sighs> Alright, so here we go, we're lighting fireworks, you know, just casually lighting fireworks. You know, I think we're, like... I don't know, he bought like a pack of 24 fireworks, and like we we're on the fourth uh, firework, I think it was. I'm not sure what number it was. Okay, we we're on that firework, and um, I guess one of the sparks, I guess, like like when the firework launches up in the air, it blows up, and it shoots, like sometimes like it has like embers that fall to the ground. Well, this ember was traveling really, really fast. And of course, right next, well, right next to his house, it's a um, like a dry grass field. You know, it's all dead. Easily can be burnt. Well, I guess that lucky little ember went. It traveled like really fast, like in a blink of an eye, and it just it flew straight down into that dry grass field. It was crazy. And then we started seeing it. You know, he was about to light the other one, and we're starting seeing it. There's a huge fire. We're like, oh my gosh, the field is on fire. So, you know, we had to jump over. We had to, you know, extinguish the fire, which was pretty nice, I guess. I mean, I've dealt with bigger fires before. Well, I, would, I didn't really deal with it. I had nothing to do with it. But yeah, we had that happen. And um, also, you know... Um, a few, I'd say, like, let's time travel to 30 minutes later. You know, we're still blasting off the fireworks. And, um, so there was another one, you know. It had another ember that traveled really fast. So he blew this one up. It was probably, like, 8, 8.30 at night. I can't remember what time it was. It was sometime around there. And, um, we had, uh, you know, we had just some more fireworks. So we're just lighting them. And there was one... It's a good thing I moved, because if I didn't, I would have gone burnt. Like, I probably would have had... I don't know, I probably would have been on fire, but it was a good thing I moved. Because, um... I was standing in the corner of their house. And I was, you know, just standing there. And... It was just, uh... Yeah, like, I was just standing in the corner of their house. And it's a good thing I had moved because I was drinking something. I think it was pink lemonade or something. And so he let off the firework. You know, I was ready for this one. I'm like, I should move, you know. 
in case something happens or I don't know I can't remember why I moved but yeah so I moved and um yeah so he I moved and I was drinking you know I was waiting for him to light it he lit it went up into the sky <coughs> and one of the, one of um those little fast traveling embers came one came back and it landed at the spot that I was originally at where I was thinking about moving it landed right there so if I hadn't have moved I would have gotten burned and you know getting burned I probably wouldn't be able to make videos for you guys well yeah I would have gotten burned and, and you know like it was a good thing I moved sorry there's a little cut in the commentary <clears throat> my mic had unplugged but yeah so the ember one of those fast traveling embers it came down at the spot where I was at and you know like like this one this particular firework you know usually the ones that we blew up in the first place you know these ones well these ones they just went up really high and you know went up really high exploded you know nothing really happened after that but this one I'm not sure what was wrong with this one but this one this particular firework <sighs> sorry throat's a little bit dry yeah so this one it went up but it didn't go up that high it probably went up to like half the uh, height of the first couple yeah so it didn't go up that high which was you know which means like the embers they would come down and actually hurt people like you know they would be closer to the ground because originally when they blow up higher up <coughs> uh -uh. When they would blow up higher, you know, they would, the embers would be all dead and cold. Yeah, they would just be burned out by the time they come back down to the floor. So yeah, after, after that, you know, after that was done, um, yeah, you know, I was just, I'm like, wow, I could have gotten burned. Oh yeah, so, um, that was my 4th of July experience. Hopefully you guys, you know, had a good one too. You guys had like fun with family and friends and stuff, and hopefully you guys ate good food and saw spectacular shows. So yeah, so that's going to be you know the end of this video, and uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Please subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see you guys later.